Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Anchor's Nano 2 30 watt charger. Now this is a very nice little charger and I'll even show it compared to other size chargers out there. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of. Now with many cell phones no longer coming with wall chargers, increasingly it's important for you to buy a USB wall charger, in this case USB-C. There's many things I talk about for a long time and the most important one is increasingly how 20 watts or higher really needs to be your standard when you're buying the wattage of a new USB-C charger so that your next phone doesn't end up requiring you to go buy new ones to take advantage of the max charging. Increasingly phones are coming in at 20 watts or higher for the charging and even some much higher than that, but most of them are about 20 watts right now. That allows for a far faster charging rate than the five watts, 10 watts, and 15 watts that were standard not that long ago. Well, battery tech hasn't quite kept up like we would like, the ability to charge phones faster makes up for the fact that batteries aren't um, being able to handle all the demands we're putting on them on many phones. When you put a 30 watt charger, you charge it for 10 minutes, you get a very quick charge on a lot of power, it's a great selling point. So we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this. Now, a few things right off the bat. This was not a review unit. I did buy this on my own money. As always though, all these opinions are mine and mine alone. Um, and pricing changes rapidly. If you wanna find the current pricing for this, I will put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment if you wanna check it out there. Um, also, if you wanna help us, we're getting very close to hitting 10,000 subscribers. I hope to do it in the next month or two. If you can help us do that, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And check out our almost four over, I should say now, 400 reviews just like this one. So with that said, like I said, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, doing one or both. Lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So they recommend our videos to more people. Now let's take a look at this. Now I will show this in action here in a minute, plugged into a wall, but this is the actual plug. Now I'm six foot tall, you get kind of an idea of my hand here. Very, very, very uh, small charger here compared to a lot of the older ones, especially even smaller ones. Only one USB port, that's really up to you. Uh, I like ones with multiple ports, but this is a lot cheaper than the versions that have multiple ports. And you always know that all the 30 watt charge is going through a single one rather than being split up. Now this one does not have retractable prongs, it's just a solid lock prong. I think for most people that's not a big deal, especially if you're not looking to travel with this. Um, and it's very small, which is really nice to fit behind dressers, nightstands, or really wherever you want, or throw this in a bag and take it with you. Uh, very nice design, I like the uh, two-tone gray here. Um, and I do like that they, while they have writing on it, it kind of fades away into the backdrop here. This is the Nano 2 30 watt. The anchor on the front's a little bit more uh, standout, but it's not horrible. I've seen a lot worse in some chargers. Now I will show you this plugged in, but a few things right off the bat. Like I said, if you're buying a charger, buy one that you're gonna be able to have for many years. These USB-C chargers aren't the cheapest things in the world. They're not horribly expensive, but I don't wanna be buying a new one every time I get a new phone. With phones cutting out um, chargers, it won't be long probably until USB cables are a thing of the past. So when you're buying one, make sure you're buying something out there that is capable of being future-proof. And I think a 30 watt charger is a good option. 20 watts my bare minimum, 30 watts is a pretty good safe bet to get a few phones out of it before you're thinking, man, my phone's capable of a 50 watt charger, I only have a 30 watt. I think you're gonna have to wait a while for that. Now we'll put this side by side with a 65 watt charger that's more of a standard size charger. It's kind of a bulky watt charger, but compared to many chargers on the market, that's a pretty standard size charger there. And you can see in this video, I'm gonna show you how uh, small this is in comparison, which is really nice, especially for power strips. A lot of wall chargers over the years, you plug them in power strips with black multiple power ports on it. This way you don't have to worry about it. Now, again, if you just plug this most phones into a standard USB plug, you're not gonna get that fast rapid charge you get with a 30 watt charger, for example. Now it will downgrade. If your phone's only a 15 watt, 20 watt, for example, it'll just downgrade to meet that. But if your device is capable of taking a faster charge up to 30 watts, this will do it. So overall, I'm very, very happy with it. It does what it says it's going to do and does it well. It's a pretty um, simple, straightforward device. Anchor in our testing has been very good to us. The Amazon um, protection plans there, when you buy it, you know it's going to work. And if it's not, Amazon will make it right, which I really do like. So overall, two thumbs up. This does what it says it's going to do, does it well, does it without a lot of flash, and does it at a good price point. 
So if you want to find this on Amazon, check out the show notes down below. I'll put a link to it there and in the first pinned comment. And if you want to help us, help us grow this channel, help us hit 10,000 subscribers, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. So until next time, thanks for your support. We really appreciate it. I'll be back with another video real soon.